the first uh, uh, month of Kartik came about in, in New York City. Srila um, Prabhupada was uh, in his apartment in 26 Second Avenue. If some of you have been to New York City, I don't know if you have, but I have been. And uh, the first storefront temple there in 26 Second Avenue, the temple is It is like a, a quarter the size of this room. <laughs> this temple room, yeah? yeah? Not that part. It's like this quarter. And it's a little long. The wide goes to a narrow side on the other side. It was a small store that was called Matchless Gifts before that. Mm -hmm. And it kept the name Matchless Gifts. Right. So when you go uh, to the back of the, you could say, in the storeroom, there's a door that goes into an inner courtyard. And you go up the stairs, and you come to Prabhupada's apartment. Uh, we call it a ground floor and first floor. They don't call it ground floor. They call it first floor means the ground floor. He was on the second floor. Mm -hmm. So one of the first uh, 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 devotees uh, that was with Srila Prabhupada at that time, uh, his name was Steve, and he later became Satsuru Das, and then later Satsuru Das Goswami Sanyasi. <coughs> So Prabhupada was explaining about uh, this month of Kartik, like that. And he said we should offer a lamp. So they didn't know what is a lamp. <laughs> they know a lamp is like a lantern you have a week. You know? You have some electricity, some light. Like that. And, and Prabhupada said, okay. Uh, you break some birthday candles, <laughs> small candles, yeah. yes. and then he explained you like this, and then you offer to uh, Yasoda Damara. Very well. So then, um, when they did that, uh, they became very intrigued because they saw all these these candles being lit. You know? And after you offer and you put it in the front. And then if you put the lights off, it's it is like some you know, otherworldly, you know? It's not like in this world. Otherworldly. And they was not <coughs> chanting the Tamudara because they didn't know. And Prabhupada didn't really introduce it at that time. They simply chanted the Hare Krishna Mahamat which includes all other bhajans and mantras, for that matter, in that sense. So, uh, and they found it very exciting to light a birthday candle to offer to the Lord, like that. And, uh, and they very nicely, the detail is given, so Prabhupada used to see them, they take the birthday candle and they light it, and after offering it, they'll and they turn it upside down to let some wax fall and then they place the candle so it doesn't fall itself. So it's all part of the Urja, urja Vrat. <laughs> very simple but very devotional. <coughs> very simple in that sense. And then um, <coughs> uh, one devotee asked uh, Shiva Prabhupada, that time they used to call him Swamiji. Okay. So he asked, uh, Swamiji, uh, uh, why are we doing this? Prabhupada didn't explain, he said, do. So they were doing it. 
then uh, he asked, why are we doing this? And Prabhupada, uh, uh, Prabhupada just uh, responded in four words. He said, to increase your devotion. You go on. Simple. To increase your devotion. And everyone was fully satisfied and that explained it perfectly. That explained it perfectly. And that's it. So we are just entering the uh, most auspicious uh, sacred month of Kartik today, known as Dhammadhar Mas. And uh, uh, any devotional service which is performed in this particular month is magnified many fold, which will explain to us the end again. Uh, during this month, uh, the devotees, they uh, perform the Dhammadhar or Urja Kati. 